Hey, what's good YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector, back with another video. Uh, in today's video, I'm just gonna go through my five favorite um, cards that I have in my collection right now. Um, I'm doing this uh, video as a response to Steve Speaks channel. Uh, he's doing a giveaway where you need to have a video response of your top five cards. Um, I have four of mine right here. The other favorite card of mine is actually at PSA right now. So I'm just gonna throw up a picture of that one when we get to it, so. Um, so we'll just start out. Um, most of you know, if you've ever watched my channel, I'm a huge Michael Jordan fan. So three of these cards are Jordan cards. Um, and we'll get to those in a minute. But uh, first one is Giannis Antetokounmpo's rookie card. This is from 2013 Hoops. Um, I did not pull this myself, but I purchased it last year um, around this time, so around May or so, and I think I paid about $110 for it at that time. Um, the reason why I was picking up this, this card specifically is because the Prism cards were just unattainable in, for my budget. So I just started looking up um, the Hoops version and I picked this one up and I'm glad I did. Uh, now it's, you know, it's worth three or four times that. But this is the PC card. It's a long-term hold for me for sure. Um, I'm, a, I'm in Wisconsin, I'm a Milwaukee Bucks fan. You know, once you run into like these generational players, I mean, the guy is amazing to watch play. He's a for sure Hall of Famer. Uh, regardless if he ever wins a championship or not. Um, two back-to-back -back MVPs. I mean, the guy is just a phenomenal basketball player and also a phenomenal person. If you've ever watched any of his um, interviews, you know, he's all about family. And uh, he's just a super, super nice guy. You know, good kid to have on that team and as a role model. So that's why I have, I have this one. And um, I think at the time, I think 10, Gem Mint 10s were like $300, 400 bucks. And then I I picked up the nine for 110. So glad I got this one. Uh, my next card is <clears throat> this Michael Jordan 1988 Fleer All-Star. Um, this one here is a Near Mint 8. This is actually a card that I uh, I picked up off of eBay last year and I just got it back from PSA. Um, the reason why I picked this card, um, obviously it's got a pretty iconic picture here, right? This is from the 1980, well, yeah, it'd be 1988 slam dunk contest. Now, it, I had this poster up in my, in my room when I was a kid, the soaring poster. And also, this was the first year that I started collecting basketball cards was 1988. And the, this probably, you know, this card, not the specific one, but this was the, the first card that I pulled out of a pack. That was Michael Jordan. So I can, you know, have faint memories of doing that. I remember going to Ben Franklin Dime Store when I was a kid, you know, and uh, picking up packs whenever I could persuade my parents to buy them. But it's amazing, you know, back then there were 30 cents a pack or 25 cents a pack, and, and now you can't even find cards on the shelf. So um, we had it good back in the late 80s, early 90s. So that's why I picked this card. Um, it's just got a lot of nostalgia um, for me. And um, it's one of those ones that I'll never, never forget um, when I was collecting, that's for sure. So that's why I picked this one here. Uh, my next one is another one that I got back from PSA. Um, I actually bought this card off of eBay as well. This is from, um, I bought it last year for a couple hundred bucks. And uh, as soon as I saw it, I just kind of fell in love with the, the picture and the design on this thing. And, uh, you know, not only does it have Jordan on one side, but it has Akeem Olajuwon on the other. So you got two Hall of Famers on the same card. Obviously, you know, Michael Jordan, my favorite player of all time for basketball. And uh, I'm just, you know, feel lucky that I was able to watch him uh, play, you know, growing up. But uh, yeah, I just love the look of this card. That's why it's one of my one of my favorites. Uh, long term hold. I don't plan on selling this one either. But I wanted to get it uh, graded and everything and put in the slab. It just looks looks fantastic. So that's why I 
pick that one. And then uh, my next one here is, uh, this is a SGC 10 uh, Gem Mint, um, Michael Jordan's 1991 Upper Deck Baseball card. And um, I actually pulled this card out of a pack. And I remember chasing this thing when I was a kid, right? So in 1991, baseball had this as an insert and it was not easy to get. Um, I recently, well, this was probably last year, summertime, I bought five boxes of this um, 91 Upper Deck baseball and I only pulled one Jordan um, insert out of it, out of five, five boxes. So um, the one I pulled was really nice. I think that one's at PSA right now. But uh, this one here, I think I pulled when I was uh, a youngster and I sent it in SGC. Um, last year about summertime and I got it back and I got a 10 so I was really happy about that but I remember you know pulling this thing out of a pack and uh, just being so excited that you know I got a Jordan card out of a baseball pack you know what I mean so uh, it's just a it's a pretty iconic card to have as a 10 as well too so SGC 10 I know it's probably not worth as much as a PSA 10 but grading wise, it's probably a better looking, better condition card at the end of the day. And since I'm not going to be selling it, it doesn't matter to me. As long as it's encased, I'm, I'm happy with it. So that's what I got there. Um, the last card that... My last favorite card that I have, um, it's at PSA right now, but it would be the... Um, Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, 1989 Upper Deck uh, Star Rookie card. Um, I, I pulled two of those. Well, actually, I pulled three of them when I was a kid. I traded one when I was, you know, shortly after that to get a Kirby Puckett Rookie card. Um, so I only have two. I actually had those things in um, screw down holders for. For 30 some years right since i since i picked those things up they kind of went into those holders so i took them out of there they looked really good condition um sent them off to psa a few weeks ago under the modern value i don't think they're going to get tens because they're slightly off centered but a nine is definitely uh possible for those um but again it was just one of those things you know i remember pulling that that card out of a pack you know um uh, ripping those those foil wrappers apart and even when, um, you know, when Upper Deck first came out, that card stock was, was it, right? So it was the first card company that used anything besides just straight up cardboard. Um, the Upper Deck stock, the card stock was a, definitely a premium when it came out. A lot of people just went after that card and that, that series as well. There was a lot of good rookies in that first year. Um, yeah, it was overproduced most likely junk wax era, whatever you want to call it. But to get a nice centered Griffey rookie card um, is not easy to do. So um, with the borders being so so narrow, it's kind of like this one here, the Jordan. Doesn't take much to make it look off. So um, yep, that's another one of my favorite cards. Those are my top five uh, for sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and what, what are your top five cards. You know, let's see some uh, Let's see some comments on what you guys think. And also want to thank Steve Speaks uh, and his channel. Make sure you guys check that out if you haven't yet. He's got some really cool content. Goes over a lot of different things. And uh, it was fun to do this, uh, do this video and showcase my top five cards. So appreciate it. Thanks, Steve, uh, for the idea and the, the giveaway uh, for this. And uh, look forward to see who wins. All right, until then, guys, thanks again. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be, really appreciate that. Get that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and then hit the bell for notifications on my next videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.